Anytime you're remaking something loved by many fans, there will always be concerns and demands. Naturally, I mean, we as the fans know what's best, right? Well, sometimes. It depends. But in this case, I feel like we pretty much got a W in this department, and I'm curious to hear what you all think about it. Longtime veteran and iconic voice actor David Hayter will be back voicing Naked Snake Big Boss in Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater, the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> and I can explain why. And not only that, it seems that the original cast will be back too. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the latest when it comes to Metal Gear Solid and help raise this 14% subscribe even higher. If you're craving more Metal Gear Solid content, here are two content creators I greatly recommend you all check out. The Night Sky Prince just put out a Metal Gear Solid news update video and also Philip Hartshorn Gaming as well. These two creators do a fantastic job and I love their content, so I think you guys will too. I'm gonna be linking both of their videos below in the description and also pin it in the comments. Now with that being said, Let's get into the video. Between media outlets reporting on the remake, there was a little confusion about it, when they were quoting Konami in regards to the story and voice acting of the game. IGN said specifically that it will be retaining the original voice acting as well as the original story, which reads that the original voice audio we heard in Metal Gear Solid 3 will be reused in the new remake, most likely cleaned up by audio engineers, also to save money on re-recording new lines and hiring actors, unfortunately. Gematsu reported saying the remake will star the original voice characters, which is now where the confusion begins. Like, which is it? Will the original cast who voiced these characters be coming back to record new audio of the same old dialogue, or are they just copy and pasting the audio from before into the new remake? Well, the official Twitter page stepped in to clarify as they saw the confusion in regards to the debate, and they said, that the story and character voices in Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater will remain the same from the original game, which hilariously still sounds unclear. And like, are they being intentionally vague about this whole thing? Because I guess they haven't decided yet. And I'm not the only one wanting a little bit more elaboration on this. Lots of other people are asking the same thing too. But it more than likely reads officially that they will be reusing the old audio for the new game, which makes sense since it's aiming to be a one-for-one -one recreation. They really will be just improving the graphics, controls, and audio in regards to the music and gameplay sounds. I mean, looking at this photo, on the first stage at least, you can see the keratin frog on the top right by the cliff, exactly where it is in the original. This screenshot and angle was taken on purpose, as they made sure that the frog was visible to sort of confirm that to you. And yes, this will be a faithful recreation. I broke down all the screenshots in a separate video, so feel free to check that out on the top right or pinned in the comments below. Kojima replacing David Hayter with Kiefer Sutherland back in the day for Metal Gear Solid 5 was never a decision that I agreed with. Kiefer, without a doubt, is a phenomenal actor and he does a great job with his version of Snake. However, for me, and I'm just speaking for myself here, it was one of the factors in Metal Gear Solid 5 that made the game not feel like a Metal Gear Solid game to me. Not to mention, it sort of felt pointless to do this change when you consider the fact that Venom Snake has the littlest amount of lines and reactions, but they paid Kiefer more money to essentially do less than what David would have cost in the first place. And if the rumors are true, which have never been confirmed, Konami was allegedly upset at Kojima for spending a lot of money and bypassing the game's budget. But in regards to David and Kiefer, it's been quoted that Kojima wanted a real actor for the reactions and facial capture, which is interesting because Venom Snake never really reacts, so it's kind of a head scratcher. Yes, I understand it's all part of the plot twist of that story and they wanted to go a different style for this narrative. I was holding out hope honestly that at the very end of the game, when Outer Heaven is built up and running, we transition to David Hayter voicing Solid Snake as he infiltrates the base. And you hear the Colonel through his codec and David Hayter as Solid Snake says, kept you waiting, huh? See, I could do a pretty okay Solid Snake impression. And the title drops, which says to be continued in Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, the NES game. Man, just imagine how dope that would be. Who knows, maybe we would have got that if they allowed Kojima to finish the project in its entirety of what he originally planned to do. But again, there's that budget. Metal Gear Solid 5 was a great game, but at the same time, it still didn't hit that Metal Gear spot for me. And now that I think about it, each new Metal Gear game, when I look forward to seeing the previous main character's next journey, they switched them out. After Metal Gear Solid, they baited us with Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2, and a much shorter Solid Snake intro with the tanker. 
Metal Gear Solid 3 was not Solid Snake, but it was actually Big Boss instead, and a massive prequel, which I absolutely loved. Then Metal Gear Solid 4, it's Solid Snake, but it breaks my heart because he's Old Snake, and basically retires as we just got him back. And in Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, we play as Big Boss in a short campaign introduction, but in the full Phantom Pain game, we technically play as a whole different snake, and he's basically a mute that doesn't react to villain monologues and awkward long car rides. Kojima really likes to fuck with people, I tell you. When you look at the list like this, it, it, kinda, it kinda makes you realize some things. Now, David Hayter is always pretty active on Twitter. He reacts and talks to a lot of fans. He's a very big fan himself. And to be honest, he's a huge reason why this series has remained as popular as it is because he remains in the community and engages with a lot of fans. But if you look at his like history, he's been liking a lot of posts relating to him voicing Snake in Metal Gear Solid Delta. At first, it was posts of people rioting saying that if he's not voicing Snake, then they're not buying the game. And then after the official Metal Gear Solid Twitter page made that tweet confirming that the original voice characters will be back in the game, people started to add him and saying congrats and welcome back to voicing Snake. He also started to like all of those tweets too. He even liked some tweets that were throwing shade towards Kojima replacing him with how that whole situation went down. Apparently Kojima made him re-audition for the role for Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Solid 4 multiple times, as he said in a Game Informer interview a few years back. But back onto the positive stuff. Him voicing Naked Snake and seemingly being back into the role. Pretty much that's been the majority of his entire like feed. So it seems that might be more confirmation saying that he is returning to voice Naked Snake Big Boss, or either way, they are reusing his old audio that he already recorded years ago. You know, it's kind of funny. Maybe the reason why they're not definite on this answer because they're embracing the Metal Gear ideology and elements within the story and just use the Patriots GW AI to simulate all the voices. Oh my God, what have I done? Please, Konami, do not do that. I mean, it would be meta as shit, but do not do that. Hit that like button if you guys are excited for David Hayter coming back into the role and comment below. Would you just be happy if they reuse the same old dialogue or recorded the same lines, but up to date? I will continue to seek out valid confirmation, but as of right now, David Hayter liking the tweets congratulating him makes me feel like he's involved with some aspects of it. You know, I really can't believe I'm finally talking about Metal Gear Solid on the channel. It's been a long time coming with this journey of content creation. And even though I started making content with fighting games and shooting games, I'm glad to be in this position now where I can make videos on my favorite games and series and just geek out about this stuff and talk with you guys. I know I could have always done it before, but it's just a weird thing sometimes as a creator. You never know or have the confidence to do something until you do it and then you realize you can. But I want to know what you guys think. What are you most excited to see with this remake? Comment below and let's get a discussion going. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Metal Gear Solid updates are on the way and you do not want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.